him. It's up the line for Fenlon. Joy Malone's gone with him. And Malone blocking the attempted cross. And then Bunding Fenlon put ceremoniously off the ball and giving a free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Roll to Kelsch. He likes to shoot them. And he really tested O'Neill. And John Byrne, Paul Byrne, rather furious with himself that he didn't finish that off. Roll back from Tracy to Kelsch. O'Neill was at full stretch. And Paul Byrne coming in just couldn't connect with the ball the keeper had tipped away. But it's given Pats the corner. Pat Fenlon with a corner. Very close to O'Neill. Very close to the crossbar. Goal kicked on door. Damien Byrne. On that from Paul Byrne. And now Dylan drilled it towards Fenlon. But again, the big man Martin Lawler there to put it out. And again, exemplifying how the Dork have kept the shackles on the Pats attackers. And their strikers, St. Patrick's Athletics, that is, surviving on meager rations. Kels with the throw. It's back towards him again. And he'll have another go. Tracy, back to Kelsch. First time cross. Away by Malone, now Fenlon. And he wriggled away through, and it's come to Paddy Dillon. This time Malone away. Now Tracy needs the first time shot. Dwelt too long on it. Dillon once more. Off Harry McHugh, corner. It did strike him on the elbow. Paddy Dillon wants a free kick for handball. As it was outside the box, but uh, I think it's fair to say it was accidental in striking McHugh on the elbow. But here's the corner coming for Pats. John Tracy has taken it. Kelsch at the near post. And again. No one in the middle for him yet, but now the support from Gorman. Gorman pulled down by Tracy. And that's a free kick to Dundalk. And John Tracy will have to come back and have his name taken by the referee. Third of the Pats players to fall foul of Mr. Purcell. Third yellow card. It's a great Dundalk break after that firm header away by Martin Lawler. Everston scampered clear. Gorman was offering support, and he can really move some. And he was checked quite blatantly by John Tracy, and that's brought the booking to the Pats man. Gorman has recovered, but more significantly, from a Pats point of view, they've got everybody back as Lawler sends in the free kick. In went John Cleary, illegally, and it's a free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Again, Lawler victorious. And now Morrison. O'Driscoll. And he's released Fenland. There's no offside here. And still Fenland. And that would have been a super goal from Pat Fenland. Really, for the first time in the match, and we've played an hour now, Pat's combining well up the right. And eventually Fenland was released and found the space, wriggled inside the box, and went for the difficult one across the bows of Alan O'Neill and it can't have been too far away. Great play by Pat Fenlon. And good play again by Terry Everston on the left. This time he's got a couple of options. And through the middle has gone Shelley, and Shelley's shot! It's not very far away at all. Good play by Dundalk once more. They really can't play some super football. And that was Mick Shelley, who's only in the side because Barry Kill's injured. But Everston started it. Shelley arrived like an express train. It was beautifully laid into his path. And the shot was fairly hit. It just wasn't on the target. 
So another free kick to Pat. Tracy wants more. O'Connor's missed it, and Dylan's got the goal. No, nope. he's ruled it out. And it'll be interesting to have another look at that. In fact, Paddy Dillon has been sent off. It will be very interesting to have another look at that. But Paddy Dillon had been booked earlier in the game. And clearly it was a second bookable offence. So he has to go. And we can see quite clearly there Paddy Dillon with the hand, putting the ball into the net. And that's deliberate handball that has to be a forcible offence, and that means he has to go. Second booking, off. But with Dundalk 1, Pats 1, and 45 minutes now elapsed, it's virtually certain that the title is coming back to Oriel Park. One point will do Dundalk, Pats have got to score a goal in added time. John Purcell has looked at both linesmen. He's blown the whistle. It's all over. And Dundalk, for the first time in six years, are the Opal League of Ireland champions. Pat Fenlon scored the opener for Pats after seven minutes from the penalty spot. But Desi Gorman's equaliser from Martin Lawler's free kick was sufficient to gain the point that has brought the title back to Dundalk for the first time since 1982. And Turnock O'Connor, a league winner as a player with Bohemians, a league winner as a manager with Athlone Town, has done it again in County Down.